so yeah um, this is gonna take a while testing a sample um, maybe this is the good one so my moisture is about 13.7 anywhere from 13.7 to 14 and the elevator wants it at 14 and a half so we're pretty good so we're gonna run it we're halfway done with this field and we also planted back in here we planted this field and this field right here so mom's gonna work on these long rows and I have to snake my way through this opening and then we have to go through here and there's a big dam that we have to go over and get over that one Cody actually yesterday morning came through here with a skid steer and kind of pushed the trees back a little bit um, that way we don't have to pull headers because normally we have to pull these headers off to go literally 40 feet and put them back on. I'm going to have to fold my extensions here though because that limb is hanging pretty low but I'm going to try to lateral tilt this way that way this header is up or this side of the header is up here and then this side is lower but we'll see how it goes. I kind of am touching over here as well as over here, but I think we're pretty good. I think those are just mainly leaves. It's it's the limbs that you want to watch out for. The leaves don't really matter. And there we go. So here's kind of what we're working with. We have to go up this. The, cam <laughs> the camera makes that look almost flat. It's, it's really not. Um, so we kind of have to go up this and over and back down it into a draw and then the fields over there. My header is not lateral tilted at all. That's uh, that's straight and it's almost touching the ground. That's how much we're leaning. Wow, I don't know if the camera does justice to that. It feels like I can stand on the windshield. My header was all the way up as far as it could go and going down it and it was still almost touching the ground. Crazy.
camera a little crooked? I think it is. I might have to mount y'all's TV sideways. The field that I taught Kimlin how to run a combine in, which was last video, if you want to go watch that, um, it's in one of these corners. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. The insurance dude said that it would make 70 and it made 85. And it had 31% hail damage on it. So that would have pushed us to almost 100 bushel. I'm not really good at math though. I'll let y'all do the math on that. 31% hail damage, and there was also spots in that field making 120. Again, I'm not good at math, but that is probably the best wheat I have ever seen. Obviously, other than on the internet, but in person, that is the best wheat I have ever seen. But, after this field, we're going to move to another field of my cousin's. And the insurance dude said, the same insurance dude said that that field will make 100. He said the other one would make 70 and it made 85. He's saying this one will make 100. So, I gotta climb this, this hill. Oh man, that's sketchy. You put all your weight to the front so you don't tip backwards. Wow, that is, that is probably the steepest thing. I've ever went up in a combine, and North Dakota is pretty sketchy. North Dakota has some questionable stuff that they plant over, let's just say that. We're rubbing on both sides right now. That was actually way easier going out than it is going in. I don't know why it's like that sometimes, but it is what it is. So mom's gonna put her header on really quick. Um, this is the field. I don't have my header here because it's only Cody, mom and I, and dad and John are in the trucks hauling. So we're all gonna have to go back because we might unhook the Dodge and all get in the Dodge and go back. That way mom can bring the Dodge back. I can bring dad's pickup with my header and Cody can get in the green cart, which he can't drive over here because he has 64,000 pounds on and and driving down the road with 64,000 pounds on the green cart is just asking for problems So he's gonna stay there until I think dad might get there before anyone else So he might fill up dad. I don't know if mom's gonna cut out a spot or not But if she does we have to raise her chopper up because we're also wind rowing this field because I want to bail it for hay So we're gonna go tackle that really quick Okay, once you raise it up, undo this extremely tight latch. And this is in high, pulled all the way out is in high, all the way in is low, and in the middle is neutral. Like that. And like I said in the last video, sometimes this continues to turn, but um, if it does continue to turn, it'll set off an alarm in there. And I'm pretty sure it either won't let you turn on your separator or your header. I don't know, it's been a while since we wind rode.
Look at Dibs. He's such a good boy. What are you doing? Okay, don't, nah, nah, don't scratch your glass. What is this? What is that? Is that a spider web? Why is there always something on me at all times? There was dirt on my face that one video. Now there's freaking spider houses on my face. Oh, anyways. Right off the rip here, it's making 91, 97. 102. I'm reading like 12, 3, 12, 4. 112, 106, 120. So, so I mean, this weed is up there. I mean, it's pretty freaking good. We are definitely not getting any land speed records here. We're, we're creeping, but I mean, it is, it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty good. Well, just to give y'all an update, we're exactly halfway around the pivot and I'm my full beacons just came on. So here's kind of a map view. Here's Cody coming around. Here's where we started. There's Dad's pickup. Um, I am a little past halfway, and Mom, Mom had the outside round, so obviously it's gonna be a little not as good as the second round, and my second round's also not gonna be as good as out in the middle, because she had some weeds and some sunflowers and all sorts of nature in her past, but, we're gonna wait on Cody to get around here and we're gonna dump and we're gonna get a hole out in the middle of this and I'll see y'all then. So we have officially made it all the way around and my average is 97.2. And that's just the turn route. My windows are really dirty. Sorry about that. Mom's gonna bust a hole through it. Dad thinks that we can't make it all the way through without dumping, but we'll see. If we can make it halfway around, we can definitely make it all the way through. So Mom and I are putting a hole through it. Just paddling it in. Slow and steady wins the race on this one. Uh, 1.9 miles an hour. It's making 112, well, 116 instant. Uh, averaging 97. Oh, there was 120, 123. So yeah. Um, this is gonna take a while.
we've already filled dad, we've already filled the one outside truck. We're waiting for John to get back and we'll fill him. Cody already has 35,000 on, so he's more than halfway to fill him. And then we'll fill the grain cart again tonight and then we'll be done. So with it averaging 95 right now, um, that's not gonna take very long. I don't know when the last time the camper was on, but update. Uh, the sun has set and the feed accelerator is about to rise through the seat. But Cody got stuck and mom almost got stuck. So we're not gonna make it all the way through this pass, but we're gonna at least cut to them and try to help it get unstuck. Mom was in four low and can barely get out of it. And I had no problems. Actually, I was a pass to her left and I kind of slid a little bit. I was like five inches off on the auto steer and then mom almost got stuck. And then Cody, Cody has 70,000 pounds on. So yeah, he kind of sunk, um, but it's also on a hill, which is kind of confusing, but it is what it is. Uh, it's wet on the hill. <laughs> There's Cody. Yeah, he's framed deep on the grain cart. The tractor doesn't look that stuck though. It's just the grain cart that sunk. Here's mom's. Wow. Here's a green card. Also, wow. Ooh. Yep. Cody, your bearings are good. See, the tractor really isn't that stuck. But, man, that green card, though. Wow. Mom, your windows are disgusting. She had to use her windshield wiper, it was so gross. I'm gonna go behind the grain cart and pull him backwards uh, with the combine. Since this one's four wheel drive, and I'm also gonna put the, the transmission to where like, I can only go like one mile an hour. I literally had to get out and clean the windows and mirrors because I couldn't even see. I'm gonna open this door so if it's loud, sorry about that, but I kinda need to hear also. If it starts spinning, Get out of it. You know, if we start moving, just kind of keep it steady. I've never done this before, so you are kind of here for the first time with me. Um, we don't typically like pulling stuff out with the combines. Uh, I think it's a little sketchy. But I'd have my unload auger out just in case he does pop out, and I'd rather him crash into the back of the combine than destroy that auger. So. Doug, on me. and me barely going but we just pulled oh I don't know a hundred thousand pounds out of the mud but yeah let's go and see what damage we did I cleaned your mirrors for you and your windows let's go look at the hole it actually isn't as deep as I thought it would be oh that is like I'm about to sink just in my boots that is about knee high ruts. Oh, I guess even worse down here. And we're still about knee high ish. Mom's is knee high, but she has a four wheel drive combine, so she doesn't get any accomplishments from that. Okay, back to cutting.
thing left for tonight is loading the grain cart, and it's already at 45,000, and I'm 20% full. I don't know the math on that, but the next truck only needs like 50, 55,000 on it for a legal load, um, so I only need like 10,000 pounds. I might have to cut a little bit more, but not too sure. The field average is 90 and we've actually been working on the quote-unquote bad stuff it's not bad at all I mean 90 who's complaining about 90 bushel wheat I mean let's be real here um, but the other side should be better than 90 so our average should be going up maybe we'll hit the 100 mark that would be insane if we hit the 100 mark um, I want to say our county average is 15 bushel, if that tells you anything about us making 90 bushel wheat right now. And this is the bad stuff, the, the, the worst -er side of the pivot. Um, so I'm kind of excited to cut the other half. Um, Y'all will have to tune in tomorrow to see the other half though, uh, when we finish this field to get the grand total of whatever this field makes. My cousin's field before this one, um, I showed that it made 79.7 and it actually made 85 and it had 31% hail damage on it. The insurance uh, adjusted it for 31%. I believe this one has like 20% hail damage and it's averaging 90 on this side of it. That is pretty dang good. I don't no complaints here let's just say that that's gonna be it for today's video thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all tomorrow to finish up this field and see the total all average so see y'all then